Hi everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to assemble this the Pi Smart car. To build this kit, you also need a Raspberry Pi 3. Yes, 3, not 2, not B plus B. So, and you also need a micro SD card, 8 gigabit. The first thing you need to know is that the Pi Smart car is combined of two things, the Pi Smart and the car. The Pi Smart is a smart robot platform we built with speech interface based on Raspberry Pi. So that's why we need a Raspberry Pi 3. And the car is just a simple three-wheel car with two motors. So the Pi Smart car is combining two things together and add some more sensors. As soon as you get that clear, we can now begin. Let's open the box. And here's the battery charger and the battery. The battery charger looks like a power adapter with such head. And the battery is a 7 0.4 volt 650 ma battery. Connect these white jacks and plug onto the wall. You can see the LED lighted red here and it will turn green after it's done charging. Let's put it aside. While the battery is charging, you can now set up the micro SD card. Plug the micro SD card into a USB micro SD adapter. Then plug the adapter into your computer. Download the latest RaceBN from raspberrypi.org. Go to download RaceBN and here download this Ras RaceBN Jesse with pixel and download as the IP and after downloading unzip it, the zip file and got the image file and use this Swim 32 disk image choose your SD card and hit write and then yes I've already burned the image so I'm gonna Skip this. If you you are using the other platform or anything, or you need a detailed installation guide, you can check this. It's just above this download page here, installation guide. You can get all the platform and every details. So after you have done burning the image you can amount the SD card eject now took the SD card from the card reader and plug the SD card into the Raspberry Pi 3 then you also need a HDMI port monitor The HDMI cable and you also need USB keyboard and mouse I got here a wireless one plug the USB keyboard and mouse into the Raspberry Pi and also the HDMI cable then power the Raspberry Pi We are going to set up software first. After the Pi is booted up, choose the top right corner of this red cross on it and find your Wi-Fi SSID. Type in the password. Then it's linking here. After it's connected, you can point to this icon and see the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. Here you should note it down. My IP address is 
192.168.01.101. Okay, then open this the terminal icon. Open terminal and type in sudo respy dash config. In this respy config interface, go to interfacing option and SSH. Would you like to enable? Choose yes, and it will enable the SSH so that we could remote connect to Raspberry Pi. Then you can also do the other changes like change your user password and change the host name or the in localization options here you can change your keyboard layout then hit back and finish then on your pc open putty try to remote access to the raspberry pi in section Type in the IP address you just noted down. 168.0.1.0.1 and click open. It worked. It prompt login as type in pi as the Raspberry Pi's username and default password if you didn't change it. Raspberry. Okay now. We need to install the software. Download the PySmart repo from GitHub with git clone each https sorry https github.com slash sunfounder slash sunfounder Pi-smart.git. The command will be in the description under the video. Then hit enter. I have already downloaded this because this might take some time. So let's move on to install. Change directory to sunfounder Pi-smart. And we provide a super easy install script here. And so type in sudo dot slash install and it will do everything for you. You just need to wait. So while you are waiting, let's go to install the car. First, take the big acrylic plate mark with Pi Smart Car. Unwrap it. Okay. The acrylic plate are always covered with papers or plastic to avoid the scratches. So you need to peel this off to give a nice look. Here, I have already done them. Both sides. Okay, now let's take these two pieces. The one mark with L and the one mark with R. And take the motors. Here, we should mount them like this. You can see a nub here. This face is flat. And mount them like this. The label should face out, and the wire goes to the board here. And take out M325, the long screws, and some M3 nuts. Take two of the screws and two of the nuts. Th 
through the screws like this and tighten them. When you finish, it should look like this. And do the same with the other motors. The same. The label face out and then face with flat. Connect it like this. It should be mirrored. Like this. It should be mirrored. Also, take two long screws and two nubs. you finish it should look like this they are mirrored now take the bottom board it should look like this put it aside with a round hole here and mount the M340 copper standoffs long one with N3 nuts you can see a logo here it should be on the bottom so the standoffs goes here tied it with the nuts You can also use a wrench here. These are four size. This is a M3. This one. like this and now take M312 screws long one mount it from the bottom into this hose this along the round hole and screw two N3 nuts this time do not tight them leave some base space to move like this and put on a universal wheel like this to decide the position and tighten the tight nuts this one here too
was done. Okay, now take off the universal wheel and mount two more nuts to balance the height. Tight them as well. And finally, put the wheel back on. And fasten them with two nuts. Okay, it's done here. Now mount the motors onto the bottom plate with M310 screws and M312 screws. You can compare them. The longest one should be 12 and a little shorter one should be 10 like this. And here the universal wheel is the front wheel, so this should be the left wheel marked with L and it should mount like this. I don't know how to describe this but you can see. Now put M3 nuts. into the hole here here carefully slide it in oh, sorry. maybe you should horizontally like this and carefully slide it in and the short one you can see the short one should be the 10 and carefully Put it on. Let's try that again. Maybe you should put your fingers here to press it. You should be patient. Okay, slide it in. Carefully push the screw. Okay, now flip it and tighten it. The same with the other one. This one, this time, you can put a finger here to press the nut so the nut won't fall. And this way it would be much more easy. Screw the 12. This is the wrong screw. Okay. Do the same with the other motors and also it should be look like this the end should point it forward also mount it with M312 and an M310 with two nuts okay we Re review this finger push down hold it horizontally and carefully insert the nut put the M310 from bottom press it flip it and tie it This one, press your finger on a hole, put the nuts in, then the screws, hold it and tie it.
Then took a hook and loop tape. Hook and loop. Just a loop. And take a scissors. Cut this like this length, this long. So it's the loop. Then stick the hook here in the middle, but not covering this round hole here. This is important, remember. And stick the other one, the loop, onto the battery. I recommend not the label size. Okay, this way you can stick your battery here. Okay, to the battery aside. Now let's mount the bottom board. Here you should see a label here. Mart, Pi Smart should face up, and you should put here and through these four, three blocks. Okay, it should be flat like this. Now mount the. M312 screws. With the motor and nuts. Also take four. Just like before here. This time we can still also put a finger here to hold the nuts. Then the screws, tighten them. Here too. If you can't fit your fingers in, you can just hold it horizontally like what we did before carefully and put the screw from the bottom Can you see it and press the nuts in case it moves then flip it and tie the screws Do the same here. Oh, maybe you can. You don't need to flip it, just like this carefully, slide it in, and put the screws. This way may be easier. Okay, now this aside, take the sorted screws, the M38 screws, this should fasten the four corners with the copper standoff. Tight all four of them as well. Okay, finally, thread the cable. 
through the hole. This should be in like this. Thread the cable through the hole. Okay, almost done here. Sorry, I forgot to put on the wheels. So let's take the wheels here and mount it here. Spin a little bit and push it in. This wheel here too. Okay. Now it's done. So you can mount the sensors now or whenever you need it, but I'm gonna just show you how to assemble the sensors. Now take the line follower and put this aside first. Take the line follower. You can see the five sensors here and take the M3 eight screws as well. Eight, should be ten. M3 ten screws. Okay, and M3 nuts. And the four wired anti reverse cable. The four wired one. Connect the wire first. Yeah. And to the car. Just mount it here. And thread the cable first. To the top. And take the screws in. Okay, do not tie them first. You can see it's a slot, so align the center and then tie it. You can use the wrench or use the screws. Okay, just like that. Now, install the ultrasonic sensors. This one. Now, and take the last two pieces of the acrylic. Acrylic. Mount it like this. Put this on. And turn it over. And put this in a 90 degree angle, like this. Now, take the M310 screws and the M3 nuts to fasten these. It's the same process putting the screw, putting the nuts. Oh, it's not easy. This way. Put in the nut and the screws. Tighten it. Nut and screws. 
ทายเลยโอเค now put two more M310 screws and two more M3 nuts and mount it here like this to the screws in and place it down tie the nuts sorry don't tie them screw a little bit hope you can see that Like that. Can you see it? Okay. Screw the screws. Don't tie them. And align the center. You can see it can move. Align the center. And hold, hold the nuts. Screw the screws. Then take this. Three wild one, kinetic behind the sensor, like that. Carefully, don't break the acrylic. Okay, it's connected. Now the car is done.